Hi there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am so excited to show you this review today and it's the unboxing of the Twisby 700R Iris. And I bought the 1.1 stub nib and I am so excited about this because I have never had a vacuum fill pen before. And so here's the information. And this is the limited edition Iris. I do believe it's all sold out. I got this for Christmas and I actually picked it out myself because I saw a rainbow pen and I was like, woohoo. So the only thing I've done is I have not unboxed it. I just kind of opened up the seal. And so I'm just excited to open this up today. And I waited, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting to show this pen through a video because I had to figure out how to figure out figure out how to use that vacuum fill. So um, you're gonna bear with me today. And, but the instructions are actually fairly simple. And so I was kind of wondering like, well, what was I worried about? But here is the pen and it's glory. It is so beautiful. It's a, like a rainbow color. Oh, so excited. Now, um, I do have to admit that when I broke the seal, I was like, oh, I hope it's the right pen. So I did take just a peek at it, but I have not taken it out of the box yet. And there are seals um, on both of the sides here. Okay, so I'm just gonna open up. There's the seal over here also. Look at that one. Okay. And there it is. Ugh. I am so excited. I've waited since Christmas to open this thing up. And then also, you know, you have to decide which ink you're gonna put in there, so that's the other part. So there's these little plastic, um, they look like little bridges, like the little Roman bridges, aqueduct bridges to me, but they hold the pen in place. And from what I understand, there is, well, I have another Twisby and um, underneath, I believe, they also have the O-rings and also the uh, silicone grease for you. Yep, there they are. Okay, so underneath, there's the silicone grease right there, the extra O-rings, and then this tool that they always give you with each pen. It's like a little plier deal. There we go. So little, not pliers, what am I saying? Wrench. So a little tool to um, help you get this in and out. So I'm gonna just set the box aside, but I do like the box. It's very, very nice, but let's look at the pen. <sighs> I mean, okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, let's start at the top, shall we? Mm. Okay, so I have a Twisby Eco and um, it it's pretty plain and it has the Twisby logo, but this has this beautiful 3D, like a little dome up on the top um, that is clear resin with the Twisby logo. It's got this gorgeous rainbow iridescent sheen all over a matte clip um, with this purplish bluish, and the clip is actually a very nice size. Then you have the iridescence here with the Twisby logo and then here it says vac 700 r and then it also has a little bit of iridescence down here with the um the place that you are gonna put your ink in one two um so it's like supposed to be one and a half turn open and then this is really what i kind of flipped out about online is this beautiful beautiful like rainbow nib on there and it has the stamping and has the twisby um information it has the 1.1 in there too does it i can't even see let's see there it is yeah it sure does look at how beautiful that is oh my i mean oh, so much to love there's even a little iridescence here on the back side. It has a plastic feed and then the flange is here and you have the rainbow in that as well. Resin body and you can see this a little bit closer up. So 
goodness. This is exactly what I had wanted and more. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Twisby. So it is a resin body and it's a demonstrator pen. That's what they do best. And then it has this vac um, piston rod with a vacuum fill, which I'm gonna show in just a little bit. The cap is faceted, so it has uh, really, um, it's just really nice. And then inside, it has this like a cap sleeve that keeps this to be, uh, it, it keeps the ink fresh. So anytime you, even after it's been sitting around, so for example, my Eco had been sitting around for at least a month and I just opened it up and started writing. It's just, it never runs dry because of that inner cap sleeve. It just keeps it ready to go. The band, like I said, has the the Twisby logo and then it is a stainless steel nib up on the top with a plastic feed. So the length of this, and I don't have my other regular thing, so I'm gonna use my ruler. So with the cap on, let's see, my ruler has a shine to it. That's not good, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So with the cap on, it is just short of, um, it's like 5.7 is what mine looks like and like 5.7 ish and then with the cap posted it is a lot longer i don't ever use it posted because it's just too long for me it's about six six point eight so a lot longer was it 5.7 or 5.8 no oh that's unposted Okay, so unposted, uncapped, it is like five, man, yeah, five point, uh, like five point two, I guess. Okay, I don't know why I'm having so many problems with that. Okay, it's like five point eight. That's what I should have said. Okay, so I think um, in the specifications that I saw in the company, it was like 5.79, so it's right there. The diameter on this is 0.59, and it is, um, the that's a, I'm sorry, the barrel is 0.59, and the grip is 0.39. Where am I? There I am. Okay, so it has different options in the nib as well. It has the fine extra fine, medium, one, the, the broad, and then the 1.1 stub, which is what I have. So today I'm gonna ink this with Noodler's Purple Mountain Majesties. Isn't that beautiful? And I just thought in honor of the iridescence and the purple, that would that might be a really nice fit. Now it's supposed to also be great for traveling because of this vacuum fill. So what you have to do is to unscrew this part in the back that's what it says okay I'm gonna unscrew and then you just pull the rod and the plunger and um from what i understand you just pull it and when you are when you submerge it in ink you just push this down and then it's supposed to do the negative fill and the pressure with the pressure. So also if you take a look at this, when it's screwed all the way in and all the way down, this little plunger thing, it just, uh, it's a seal that seals it off. So it's actually safe for traveling when it's all screwed all the way down. I'm gonna unscrew this again and then just pull this up. So let's see how well Mona does today because like I told you, I was really kind of scared to do anything with this. Okay, I'll take a deep breath. So nervous. So nervous. I don't know why this stuff just kind of gets me all messed up, but it does. Let me get stuff out of the way. Okay, so hopefully you can see without too many shadows, although that has a lot of shadows. So I'm going to put that in, and then you just push the plunger in hopefully you can see that and nothing happened awesome 
Okay. There we go. Oh, yay, it happened for me. Okay, so that's what you do. And then if you want more ink, you pull the plunger up again, and then you push down and it gives you more ink. Wow, mine gave me quite a bit more ink there. So um, on Goulet Pen's website, one of the things they said is to, if you wanted it to fill up all the way, that you needed to turn it upside down. Oh my goodness, I wanna get stuff out of the way in case I get ink everywhere. So they said turn it upside down like this. And then like you would a needle, you're gonna flip it around and then pull this back. Oh man, I'm so scared. Do I dare do this? Okay. Um, is that what they said? No, they said until you see ink bubbling up on top. Okay. And then they said turn it back around and then push it all the way down. So let's see if that happens. Ooh, wow. Okay, I got some more ink. So not the bestest way for me to try that out. Ah, that's what they said to do. Is that right? They said, yeah, it's kind of like a syringe, I guess. Now I'm just like experimenting here with you all. Okay, so that's what they said. Pull it all the way down. I don't think I did that right the first time. So they said, do it all the way down. And now you're going to push. Well, this is really actually scary. Now you're going to push it up until that negative space gets filled up with the ink. And they said, if you're not careful, it's gonna, the ink's gonna go fl flying, flowing and flying. Okay, so I have, why do I have ink down here though? Hmm, okay, let's try it again. You know what, y'all, I'm gonna leave that. Okay, well, you know what, I have this down here, so let's try that again. I got some more ink, okay, so you can, Maybe follow Goulet, um, their video, and it will probably be a little bit better than this, since this is my very first time trying this hack to get it filled up. But honestly, that's more than enough ink for me. Um, so that, they said is like, maybe if it's completely full, it's like 2.3 mils or two mils of ink, and this is about one and a half. So. I'm pretty happy with that, and I'll leave well enough alone. But let's do a writing sample here. So, let me get some paper. Okay, and this is some ink from when I was testing my Heart of Darkness pen. So, this is... I'm going to zoom in a bit more. And this is the TWSVI Twizzy. Ooh, pretty ink. 700R Vac Fill in Iris. Okay, and this is the 1.1 nib. Wow, that is so pretty. I love the way that writes. So let's try the wet ink test. Lovely flow. And the ink is Noodlers. Purple. Mountain. Oh, I love the stub nib. Okay, I'm going to just tell you, I love the Eco, and it's my go-to pen, and I 
think this is going to be my new go-to pen, especially because it's so beautiful and it writes beautifully. And I'm going to do a little bit more here. Okay, so this is the Twisby Iris and it is absolutely fantastic and I'm just so pleased to have it. And there's this sample uh, writing and then just real quick, this is my Eco, Twisby Eco, and I just wanted to compare the size so that you had an idea of what that looked like as well. So just a little bit smaller but just about the same on how it writes, but I love it. It's very smooth and quite unbelievably wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching me kind of bumble through how to use a vacuum fill, and I hope that was useful for you and that you enjoyed it. Please leave me comments whichever way. I'm open to suggestions as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.